Hello, I am Aniket from Tarkashastra Academy. In this video, we are going to understand the concept of dearrangement, de also known as derangement. Now, it is a difficult concept. Uh, as it is permutation and combination, many of you might be feeling that this is a difficult concept. Even if you understand permutation and combination, this concept many students don't understand. So what is derangement? Let us try to understand what are the type of questions. So let us say we have four balls, red, blue, yellow, and green. And then we have four boxes, red, blue, yellow, and green. We have to find out all those arrangements in which a ball should not go into the box of same color. Means this red ball should not get into the red box. Okay. All other arrangements are possible. So red one getting into yellow is fine. Blue into uh, blue into red box is fine. Green into blue box is fine. Yellow in yellow ball in green box is also fine. All these arrangements. So now there can be multiple arrangements because red cannot get into a red box, but it has now three options. So we are not going to get into the concept of it or in depth concept of it. But we are trying going to understand the formula over here and how to apply that formula. Okay. Now this concept can also be applied on letters and envelope. Yes or no? It can also be applied on keys and lock. Right? Any of the key should not get into the proper lock or any of the letter should not get into the proper envelope with the address. Okay. So such type of questions we are going to see and we are going to understand the concept as well. So if n objects are arranged in a row, the number of ways it can be deranged so that none of it occupies its original position is this. Dn, this is your d arrangement. It is n factorial, 1 minus 1 upon 1 factorial, which comes out to be 0 only. Then 1 by 2 factorial minus 1 by 3 factorial plus 1 by 4 factorial up to 1 by n factorial and every alternate sign is plus minus plus minus like that. Okay. Let us try to look at it with the example. A person writes six letters to his six friends and address the corresponding envelopes. Okay. So he has written six letters and those six alag-alag addresses mein jane chahiye to letter one, letter two, letter three letter 4, letter 5, letter 6. And these are the correct address. Address 1, address 2, address 3, address 4, address 5, and address 6. So, none of the letters should get into the proper address. Okay, this is what the condition is given to us. That is your proper pure D arrangement. So, letter 1 can get into letter, uh, can get into address 3 envelope or into address 4 envelope. All those possibilities are valid, but letter 1 should not get into address 1 envelope or letter 5 should not get into address 5 envelope. Okay. So how do we do that? So now number of elements which we have are 6. So n is equal to 6 in this case. So the arrangement of 6 objects will be how much? It will be 6 factorial into 1 minus 1 upon 1 factorial plus 1 upon 2 factorial minus 1 upon 3 factorial plus 1 upon 4 factorial minus 1 upon 5 factorial plus 1 upon 6 factorial. That's it. This is what you need to do. Okay. Now, this is effectively 0 only. No? 1 minus 1 is 0. So, what we have 6 factorial is 720. Then 1 by 2 factorial is 1 by 2 minus 1 by 1 by 3 plus no. 3 factorial is 6, no? Then 1 by 4 factorial, that is 24, minus 1 by 5 factorial, that is 120, and then 1 by 6 factorial, that is 720 itself. So what we have? 720 by 2, that is 360, minus 720 by 6 is 120, plus 720 by 24 will be 30, minus 720 by 120, it's minus 6, I mean that is 6 and then 720 by 720 is 1. So what we have 360, 390, 391. So 391 minus 120 minus 6. That is 126. So what we have? We have 5 over here. 8, 
then we have six over here and then two. 265 dearrangements are possible. 265 different ways are there where none of the letter has gone into proper address or in the envelope having proper address. This is what we understand from dearrangement. Now there might be some different cases like a person writes six letters to six of his friends and address the corresponding envelope. In how many ways the letters be placed so that four of the letters go in wrong envelope. Okay, so four letters in wrong and two letters in correct angle. Okay, two letters in correct angle. So letter one, letter two, letter three, letter four, letter five and letter six. And then address one, address two, address three, address four, address five, address six. Now, one of two of these should get into proper proper envelope or with an envelope with proper address. Okay, now these two can be any. It can be letter 1 and letter 4. It can be letter 3 and letter 5. It can be letter 2 and letter 3. It can be any of it. Okay. And then remaining 4 should not get into the proper envelopes. This is what we have to check over. Now, how to do that? If n objects are arranged in a row, the number of ways it can be deranged so that R object occupies its wrong position and N minus R object occupies correct position. Okay. So now num for that, what is the formula? Dn is equal to N C N minus R dr. Now where dr is what? That dearrangement formula where it is R factorial 1 minus 1 by uh, 1 minus 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial minus 1 by 3 factorial plus 1 by 4 factorial up to 1 by r factorial alternately minus plus minus plus like that. Okay. So now here number of letters we have are 6. So n is equal to 6 and 4 of the letters should get into wrong envelope. So my r is equal to 4. My r is equal to 4. So number of d arrangements where 2 of the letters should get into proper envelope will be 6 C 6 minus 2 N C N minus R. So that is 6 minus 4. That is 6. Okay. 6 minus 4. Okay. And then D 4. Okay. D 4. Now what is this 6 C 2? This is your 6 C 2 and D 4. Let us calculate here. It will be 4 factorial into 1 minus 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial minus 1 by 3 factorial plus 1 by 4 factorial. That's it. Okay. So this is 4 factorial is 24. This 1 minus 1 is 0. 1 by 2 factorial is 1 by 2 minus 1 by 6 plus 1 by 24. So what we have 12 minus 4 plus 1. So that is 13 for you. So D4 is 13. How much is 6C2? It is 6 factorial by 4 factorial into 2 factorial. Up to 4 factorial, everything gets cancelled. 5 into 6 upon 1 into 2. That is 15 into 13. 15 into 13 will be 195. So 195 cases will be there where two of the letters have gone into the proper envelope and remaining four letters have gone into wrong envelope with wrong address. Okay. So this is what we understand by D arrangement and D arrangement uh, having N objects of which R objects are getting into wrong positions. Okay. For more such concepts, you can join our academy. We provide everything that is needed to help you join your dream B school. You can connect with us on any one of these three social media platforms or visit our website, tarkashasa.co.in. Thank you so much. Jai Hind.